This may be the best PF7 we could buy for the money, but we need to do some hacks for that. Stay tuned. Thanks for the PFSense being open source, we could basically turn any x86 computer into a very powerful router. The machine I picked is this mini PC made by Zotac. It builds in two NICs which is make it possible. However, it uses Realtek NICs instead of the supported Intel NICs, so we need to build the driver by ourselves. I make a step-by-step -step video showing how to compile the driver. I will put the video link on top in the bottom descriptions. Without the driver, the router will work to some extent, just sometimes dropping package or losing connections, and cause high CPU uses when doing a heavy load. After the driver was installed, we could see the router behave as it should. I've been testing the router about a week now. I confirm it's fully stable. This is a fairly old machine but does the job really well. It used the Intel Celeron N3160 processors which support the Intel AES new instruction sets. We know in the future PFSM will not support without that future, so we got that cover here. Another great feature about that CPU is about the power consumption. On the Intel's website, um, it says 4 watt in the real world scenario. According to my test, it's about 6 watts in average and 9 watt in the heavy loads. For compare with the Verizon box that uh, that come with that, that one about 20 watts in average um, is good I guess but I can't stand that one did not come with the VLAN feature so I cannot use that without that simple one feature I used to use one of this and install it on my old PC. It works great and powerful, but the thing is power consumption. This one sucking a lot of power for home use. I think it's too much and I cannot sit here and watch that machine sucking all the power and all my money. So I choose the machines like this. I pay about 160, it come with everything I need, 30 gigs of SSD, 4 gigs of RAM, so it works great. So I think this is a great machine for home use and if you don't want to overpay for other company, I think this is a good choice. And not to mention this one should outperform the NetGate entry level router. So highly recommend it. So that's it for today's video. I'm Neil. Here's how to IT. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.